Howdy. My name is Nonat, and there has been a lot of talk in the Pathfinder sphere about this website, Wanderer's Guide. For those of you who are unaware, this is a desktop web browser accessible character creator and character manager. You may have seen some similar apps on mobile devices and even some other apps on computers similar to this, but this one's been getting a lot of talk. It's currently in open beta, so I thought, why not make a video about my literal first impressions? You can see on the screen, I haven't even made an account yet. So I should probably go do that, but I have never used this, I've never looked at it, I've never played around with it. So you're gonna get my first complete open impressions with this application. And wow, registration is incredibly easy. You just connect a Google account or a Reddit account. You don't need to make a custom username, a custom password, nothing. As long as you are logged in on Google, you automatically sign into Wanderer's Guide. That's honestly kind of nice, not gonna lie. Well, let's go ahead and make a character, I suppose. Create character. Already, I'm really liking this. It includes the ABC of character creation right up there at the top. Starts with your starting ability scores. You can name your character whatever you want. We'll go with Joe Schmo the Monk, you know. Uh, we'll make a level one monk. Let's see, for Joe Schmo the Monk, you know. Uh, obviously, starting with normal uh, ability scores. You can scroll down here, we can allow any of the books, including the adventure paths and the playtest. Holy cow. Well, you know what? Let's keep it simple. Let's not use Game Mastery or Advanced Player's Guide. We're just going to use the core rulebook. You can even enable variants like automatic bonus progression. Obviously, free archetype, the best one. You can enable stamina. Holy cow. And what are the publicly visible makes sense. Auto detect prerequisites. That's nice. It'll basically block things off from you if you don't have the appropriate feat. Auto heighten spells. Oh my word. Custom code block. I'm guessing that's for your own customizations. Dice integration. I'm not quite sure what that means. Uh, and ignore bulk. Nice. I don't know if dice integration means this has a built in dice roller. Uh, I'm not quite sure. Maybe I'll mess with that in the, later in the video. But let's go ahead and hit the right arrow to make our core rulebook monk. Joe Schmo the monk, you know. So hitting the right arrow takes us to an ancestry. Nice and simple, right in front of you. We'll pick an ancestry. We'll go with... Joe Schmo sounds like a halfling. We'll go with a halfling. It gives you all the information. I don't even know where they got this art. That's not from the book. That's so cool. It gives you everything from the book right in front of you so you can read it. Oh, and it's all laid out so nice. Everything is laid out right before you. Holy crap. Wisdom, dexterity, and then you just choose one. You know, we'll, get, we'll put it into strength for that bonus, even though we have a flaw to strength. Um, uh, can you boost a flaw? Apparently, yes. You can't boost something that's already been boosted, but you can put that free boost in to cancel out your own flaw. That's kind of cool, and I never knew you could do that. I've only been playing this game for over a year now. You scroll down, oh, and there's just ancestry. You can choose a heritage or a versatile heritage, which because we, uh, just half, can you do that? It even lets you do it when you're not a human. Dude, this is just in the core rulebook. This is so good. We're just gonna go with our ancestry. We will pick the nomadic halfling so we can choose a bunch of, it just chooses the languages right there. We'll, we'll pick a draconic and I don't know, Eruxi. We can speak to lizards, all lizards. And then we choose an ancestry feat. And let me guess, if you just pick one, it tells you what it does. It doesn't tell you what it does. Okay, gotcha. So it doesn't tell you what the feat does, unfortunately. <laughs> Never mind, there it is. All right, nope. <laughs> All right. All right, Wanderer's Guide. Wanderer's Guide, look at me. I don't know if you're watching this video, but look at me. I'm impressed. I didn't expect that to pop up. Uh, so once you pick the feat, you can click the name for a description or click the drop down to select a different feat. Watchful Halfling, click it, there's what it does. Uh, let's go with, oh my word. If you select a feat that changes your proficiency, it tells you underneath which proficiencies are changing. That's so good. Also, sorry if I got distracted, there's a spider on my wall and I got scared. I'm already super impressed by the just the ancestry page. This is fantastic. Does it even, it even tells you what they do. There's keywords. Oh my word. Oh. All right. Deal breaker, guys. I found it's it's pointless. Why even use this website? The formatting on names is incorrect. It's supposed to be a space down. Completely unusable. 
All right, let's move on to background, which you can obviously pick anything you want. We'll go super simple and go with Athletics Martial Disciple, which gives us Quick Jump, which you can just click to see what it does. This, guys, guys, I'm not even halfway done making the character, and this might already replace my character sheet. This is insane. Wait, if I click High Jump. Oh my gosh, it's having, it's like having Archives of Nethys at a click. You can go down a rabbit hole here. Oh, how does striding work? Neat. Oh my, and it takes you back in order. I expected hitting back to take me back here, but no, you can go quick jump. Wait, how does high jump work? Wait, how does leaping work? Okay, now go back to high. Oh, this is really good, guys. Also, I should have said this way earlier in the video. This is not sponsored in any way. I have not talked to Wanderer's Guide. I have not done anything. The spider is on the wall behind my computer. Hi, buddy. I would appreciate you leaving. I'm going to go get a cup. No, don't crawl behind my whiteboard, please. Got him. I cast magic missile. <laughs> oh, man. I can't believe this is all on camera. Ah, I dropped him. I dropped him. And you know I'm leaving this in because you guys are going to find it hilarious. But this time we're going to do this the baby way. I'm just going to pull this along the ground. Hi, guys. Well, Spider, you're going to be web famous for, like, a couple minutes. I guarantee this is going to be everyone's favorite part of the video. Hasta la vista. Have a good life. I did it! How much experience do I get? Anyway, now that that instance of terror is over, let's get back to Wanderer's Guide, because I was in the middle of being very impressed! Anyway, you can choose your two ability boosts. You know, we're gonna go with strength and... Yeah, strength and dex. Let's go strength and dex. Why not? And then we move on to class, which we know Joe Schmo the Monkey you know, is gonna be a fighter. Because it's in his name. Joe Schmo the Monkey you know, He's a fighter. Uh, choose an ability score. We're gonna go with strength. Because I believe we want to kick that up as high as possible. Uh, we can choose... Uh, I think we're already trained in athletics. It even tells you! It even tells you! You're already trained in athletics. Holy crap, Wanderer's Guide. All right, acrobatics it is. Uh, so that doesn't disappear, but still, that's so good. Three plus intelligence modifier, nice. Yeah, all our saving throws are right there. All of our attacks are right there. Defenses, scroll down. It just lifts everything. It tells you how everything works. Oh, you get to pick your ability boost, which are going to be dex, strength, what happens if I pick strength again? You can't! It, oh, it's so good. Constitution, wisdom, and then we pick our fighter feet. We could even add a dedicate. No, we can't. But some, if we were an ancient elf, I bet we could. So fighter class, we can go ahead and take a uh, power attack so we can punch really hard with Joe Schmo, the monk, you know, the fighter's fist attack. And is that it? Almost done. Look at those stats, dude! We can choose additional, and there's our additional skills. We'll take medicine and stealth, and how about, I don't know, survival. And since we have a plus zero to wisdom, we can't get more languages, but we could down there. Make sure you come back here each time your intelligence modifier increases. Good to know. So you can actually go back and do this here. And then I think we're done. I think we click the little character icon. Oh my god. Joe Schmo the monkey you know, the nomadic halfling fighter is done. That's so fast. And like this was my first time ever even using this website. And I made it this quickly. Like obviously I know what I'm talking about when I talk about the game, but... What? What's this coin pouch? It, it even gave me my 15 starting gold! At, wait, add items? What if I look for, like, a general item in, like, adventuring gear? Like, an adventurer's pack. Buy. Buy a... Oh. It has the prices for everything. It auto-does the bulk. If I open the adventurer's pack, it already has... Wait, uh, what if I... Uh, unstored, move, customize. Can I, un can I unpack this? This is gonna be a big thing. Can I unpack this? Um, oh my god, it's, it's all right there. It's all right there. And it even says where these are located. Like, I click on my rations, I look, oh, they're in my adventurer's pack. I could put them in my coin pouch. I could put them on the ground. I could unstore them. If I, I bet if I add a bandolier, 
If I had a bandolier, add, buy a bandolier, buy item. Let's buy a minor healing potion. Oh, they're all right there. We can do this. Buy a minor healing potion. Four gold pieces. Buy that. We can see we still have 94 gold coins. We can go to my... We can close my adventurer's pack. Go to my minor healing potion. Move it to the bandolier. Click move. Oh my god. It's in the bandolier. Guys, this is insane. You can just click on it right there and it tells you exactly what it... This is a game changer. I'm telling you right now. This application this website is a game changer what if we what if we what if we level up what if we hit a thousand experience how do we level up oh don't sorry i'll get to the level up in a second don't you tell me this is automated i have been frightened one it adjusted everything if i remove frightened like here, look, look. My look at my saving throws. Six, eight, five. I get frightened one. It all went down by one. Everything adjusted. All of my skills adjusted. All of my attacks adjusted. Everything adjusted. What is this magical website? Sorry, my attack did not adjust. Okay, my attack did not adjust. You can just add your runes. It's still a plus eight. All right, never mind. That's broken. <laughs> Or at least not automated, which I think that's okay. You know, the fact that this is not automated is fine. You can customize all of it. If if we, oh my word, if I'm playing in a fancy campaign with homebrew and my GM says, yeah, yeah, here, uh, your fists are actually super strong and cool, so they deal a D8 of damage. Save it. It's now a D8 of damage. I remove these uh, these conditions. And my plus two is back up to a plus three. I don't know why my attack didn't change, though. It looks like it should. You can just take damage, simple as that. You can just give yourself temp HP, simple as that. If you rest, let's see. If you rest, I should be gaining one times my con mod. So I should be gaining, what, one hit point when I rest? Yeah, it's, it's so good. It's so good. It even breaks down your bonus for you. What? Strength mod plus proficiency plus any additional bonuses. What is going on with this incredible, incredible thing? Oh, there's my power attack. I can filter these. Wait, I can filter these by action, by miscellaneous skills. Uh, what's miscellaneous? All core... Can I filter them by fighter? What if I put like fighter? Oh, I misspelled fighter. What if I put that put in fighter? <laughs> this is insane! It's all right here! You don't need the rule book! At least not like on you. There's the details, there's all the stuff, all my abilities, my descriptions. Oh my god. You can add notes, anything you want, right here. Guys, I am absolutely blown away. Uh, if we add another unarmed attack... New Fist! This is New Fist. And we add that in. I'm curious why it's not lowering my attack rolls. What if I am... Yeah, it just looks like the attack bonus might be one of the things that is just a little bit broken and not updating correctly. What if I add in... What if I go to inventory, add items, let's find a weapon. Let's give me a great sword. Go ahead and purchase that. I love that there's just a buy option. Can we talk about how cool that is? I go to weapons. Oh, it's automatic. Yes. Okay. So something is bugging out in the fist attack specifically. Because you can see I'm frightened three, reducing my attack bonus by three. I remove the frightened condition and that fixes. For some reason, something about the unarmed strike is not updating correctly. Wanderer's Guide, if you're watching this video, I am so impressed. For a freaking beta, this is so impressive. Let's wrap this video up by leveling up. If we go to edit, can we level up maybe? Aha, uh -huh, level two. Okay, so we hit level two. We go next. So it looks like whenever you level up, you re-go through the character creation process with all of your things already picked. Level two would only give us a skill feat and a class feat. So if we go back to class... Do we pick another feat here? 
Level 2 fighter feet. Interesting. So, what if I skip through this? What if I don't pick a feat? What if I, I didn't scroll down, I don't realize I need to get a fighter feat? Let me go back here. I am level 2. I got everything updated correctly. But it looks like it does not tell you when you get a feat or something when you level up. So when you level up, you definitely should check the, the book to know what you get. I mean, you know, it's an even level, you know you get... Um, skill feet and class feet, but all everything did go up by one. All my saving throws, all my skill checks, everything with proficiency went up by one. Uh, one more level up, I want to hit level three, because odd levels are a lot of automatic stuff. For example, when you reach an odd level, when you reach level three as a fighter, you get bravery, which increases your will saves to master, or I, I think it increases, yeah, it increases them to master, I think. Or is it expert? It might be expert. Well, let's move on. We'll move on here. Nothing's going to change with our Ancestry. We don't get an Ancestry feat till 5th level. Nothing changes with our background. Uh, let's see. So Fighter. Because we're level 3, there's Bravery right there. Whenever you roll, will save. Yep. Uh, so yeah, will saves increase to Expert. So... Yeah. So we do see here. So you do just... I mean, as long as you go through all the tabs you will see everything you're going to get. Basically, it looks like it's all going to be on the class page, unless it's an ancestry feat specifically. Uh, but still, this is amazing, you know? Basically, every time you you level up, you just need to scroll down to the features section at the bottom of the class page, and it'll tell you what you're missing, and as well as every level you're missing it from. Uh, you know what? At level 2, let's take a wizard dedication. Last thing I want to check. Wizard dedicate. I don't have the intelligence for it! So, I'm technically not allowed to. It doesn't tell me why, but I know it's because I don't have the intelligence for it. Uh, we'll take Cleric instead. Let's take the Cleric Dedication. Uh, use this area to keep information about your D. God, this is so good. I'll skip the Skill Feat for now. Skip the General Feat for now. Uh, increase any Skill. Fantastic. We'll increase Athletics. Why not? And now that we have a Spell Casting Ability... Oh, okay, there you go. At the end, under finalize, there are warnings that you didn't pick a feat. Cool. Okay, I missed that last time. Uh, you'd have to scroll down to see it. Well, I mean, you don't have to scroll down to see warnings. I'm just bad at reading. So yeah, there are things there that are like, hey, you need this. So it might not be a bad idea to jump to finalize when you level up to see everything you're going to get. But let's see. We should have two cantrips now. How does that work? Oh, we have a spells tab now. Manage spells. Add. Oh, my word. And it only shows us... Okay, so it does show us all of these. Uh, but, yeah, so we could add Guidance and Divine Lance. And then we can... Oh, oh and then right here, Empty Slot. Do we... Is it... It's Drag and Drop. Oh, my God, that's cool! Now, if we close out of this, we click Divine Lance. Uh, oh, did I not... I don't think I checked Auto Heighten Spells. Well, if I go to Edit... That might be on me. Uh, I actually don't see it. Divine Lance, attack plus seven. Oh wait, cast spell. Oh, that would that would take it out of the spell slot if you had it. Here, let's try. So those are cantrips. I'm gonna I'm gonna cheat and give myself a no, not another cantrip. Uh, can I remove this? Ah, remove slot. Nice. Uh, I'm going to cheat and give myself a third level magic missile spell. Uh, let's see, let's go, well, not Magic Missile, but let's add it, and then we go here, we go to Spell List, we go to third level, or sorry, a first level spell, let's take Heal, Heal's actually a great one to put here, and let's drag that Heal into the third level spell slot. Now, if we click Heal, so it doesn't give you, like, a flat number. You can see it does say Improved two times, which means, you know, it is increases by that much. It looks like it doesn't give you an actual, like, this is exactly what it does. But it does say, hey, it's been heightened this many times. Does Divine Lance... Interestingly, Divine Lance doesn't say that. What if I was level 5? Let me check our spells. Divine Lance. Now it's, it does say improved two times. So was that heightened not even there when I was level 1? This will be the final thing we check before I call it here. Let's go back to level 1. And recheck that spell. Oh, I, I lost my dedication. Uh, here, let me just throw in the, the cantrip spell slot. I love that you can just... 
override anything by the way you can override anything by clicking the right button which is so cool it means if you get a spell somehow or you get a new skill proficiency through the story not through leveling up you just can make it happen ah i see the heightened the heightened section does not appear on a spell however if you are the correct level it will appear and tell you how many times it has been heightened you can see here on heal it has been heightened twice so it increases it by 2d8 and the two action increases by 16. i do like how it puts it all there so if it's been heightened twice it shows you how much it's been increased it doesn't say you know add 1d8 twice it says add 2d8 wanderer's guide kudos serious kudos i only played around with the core rulebook here but apparently they have everything they have literally everything so guys Go check this out. Sincerely. I honestly believe I'm going to start using this instead of my normal character sheet. This will likely replace it. So go check it out. It's completely free. You just sync it up to your Google account. Go in and go wild. This is an amazing character builder. And I don't know if there's ever going to be a better one than it. Or does it already exist? Shout out to all of my patrons for making these videos possible. Shout out to all of you who have liked and subscribed to the channel and left comments in the description. I love seeing your comments. Let me know, what do you guys think? Is Wanderer's Guide the penultimate Pathfinder character creator? Or is there a better one out there? I'm not going to name drop it quite yet, but you know which one I'm talking about. Let me know down in the comments which one you prefer and why. And I'll see you guys soon for another video very similar to this. Thank you all so very much for watching. Hope you have a wonderful rest of your day, and until next time, no nat ones.